life. He died, in fact, probably in the Holy Land, not quite known. Um, but he kept on coming back to this extraordinary kind of embrace of earthly life, and particularly the earthly life of love, uh, almost as a kind of antechamber to a spiritual experience. And uh, Hillel Halkin, who spoke on this very stage after he produced his wonderful book about Yuhud Halevi and his translation of this, has been, and is a poet himself as well as a writer, catches this extraordinarily direct form of speech in this, in this poem, which is all about, I thought it was bright for Clara's evening, it's all about parting, it's all about travel, it's all about distance, it's about tenderness and about despair. all news from one who aches for you inside the bars of his own ribs. Surely you know a lover's thoughts care only for the sound of your hellos. At least if parting was the fate reserved for us, you might have lingered till my gaze had left your face. God knows if there's a heart caged in his ribs, or has it fled to join you in your journey. Swear by our love that you remember the days of embraces as I remember nights crammed with your kisses and that as through my dreams your likeness passes so mine through yours does. Between us lies a sea, an ocean of tears I cannot cross. Yet should you but approach its moaning waves, they part beneath your steps. And if Though dead, I'd hear the golden bells make music on your skirt or your voice asking, how are you? I'd send my love to you from the depth of the grave. And Jews in their poetry, medieval poetry, often describe themselves as birds as well. Do you think you can be, um, a, a, well, let's talk about where you are now, London. Do you think sort of London is actually a metropolis of exiles, or not necessarily exiles, but it's, it's become, the London I knew I grew up in was so very um, clearly English and tweedy. Um, <laughs> nothing wrong with tweed, of course, actually, but it was and an indoor thing. It was an indoor, I mean, it was a capital where, you know, the indoor, outdoor, now it's a capital of so many different cultures. Has that, has that nourished you? Yes, I think? yes, and I've, yeah. I've had a wonderful time living in, in England. How long have you been here? 20 years. Wow. And I think partly because I feel that, you know, that it is so cosmopolitan, that there is scope for this. I felt the mentality back home when I left was still a little closed in the sense that we, you know, we were, we were in a time of peace, but the, the war that had been was not so far away, but it had been completely buried in the past, and nobody talked about it. 
and there was a sense of you know just enjoying capitalism and spending to the max and not thinking about what happened and you know all of that and so when I came to London when I came to London to seek music and uh, I didn't speak any English when I came you can uh, really? not always speak better than I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, music is an international language, and so I always got by at the very beginning when, you know, I couldn't even ask for a sandwich at the shop. I could go to the guild hall where I was studying and, and more or less know what they were teaching me about. So, yeah, but uh, it, London is a very, very special place for me because it, it, I think it embraces, you know, people like me. I never knew him, but I, I heard the stories of him, you know, he, um, the, the, there was one, I must tell you this because it's a funny, light-hearted story, but he had a parrot that, that he taught how to say, Visca Catalunya, and so when the special forces came, he had to blindfold the parrot, and the parrot the cellar, so he didn't give it away, because he had all these people in the cellar as well, that he was it's a terrorist parrot. Yes. <laughs> they often are. It died, it died oh. saying, Visca Catalunya, so happy there. says, uh, if you, but you, you birds who find yourselves without a place to land, here's my hand. And of course, he, he was a very Catholic man, uh, and you know, that was faith to him, but I thought, you know, in the poem, there's no, you know, this could be complete, completely universal, you know, just here's a place to land, temporarily or permanently, but you know, you can, you can trust it. And ironically, I learned the poem, and then I wrote the song, and I, been singing it a lot. And, uh, as it happens with the oral tradition, 
in my version, I started saying, I give you my hand instead of I, which I hope doesn't offend my great grandfather, may he rest in peace. But I think it's also, I started thinking it's quite symbolic in a sense that I've swapped, I've uh, used my hands from commands and I give you my hand. I don't think you'll mind <laughs> at all. Um, the, the thing, I, I, something you just said is, um, you know, speaks something important that the experience of exile and flight is at once very particular because of the particular place for which one has a longing, even if you're there. You know, as yes. you said, so we, when we talked the other night, you can be Catalan and feel you're in exile at home, really, because it's somehow not your home. Um, and um, at the same time, it speaks to a universal condition now more than ever. Is where the heart is. When my heart is, I know not. Home is where the heart is. When my heart is, I know not. I left it in the shrine of my ancestors. silverback, silver hair days, be living in the great time of tragic refugees. Millions of them in Jordan now, Syrian refugees, but wherever you look, you know, wherever you look, there are people in flight now. Do you feel, and some, some of the video, beautiful kind of video stuff you have along, along with your music actually has some of those contemporary reference points. Do you feel, the question is that, you know, scattered flight is particularly important now because it speaks to so much of the human condition, right? Scattered Flight was my version of um, my great grandfather's father's poem. So this is a brand new song which I wrote um, with the idea that you hear a shot and you're scared and you fly away and then you're speaking to the, the, the seagull who meets you midair and says, you're one of us now, you can't go back. Always in motion, and so all of the scattered flight. It's a poem I'm going to read you about someone who felt very strongly that the, and didn't want to by the medieval Hebrew poet Yehuda Halevi, who lived in Spain and whose heart famously in one of the poems said, I'm in the West, but my heart is in the East. shed my blood, I have two witnesses, your lips and your cheeks. Don't say they are crimson lies. What makes you want to be my murderess when I would only add years to your years? You steal the slumber from my eyes, which if I could would increase your sleep and give them to you, my eyes gratis. My vaporous sighs are stoked by passion's flames and I am battered by icy flows and thus it is, I am caught, alas, between fire and flood, hot coals and cold deluge. My heart, half sweetness, half bitterness, honeyed kisses mixed with the hemlock of adieus has been torn by you into fragments, and each fragment twisted into a curl. Would that you wore me as a seal upon your arms, as I wear you on mine. May both my hands forget their cunning if I forget the days, the dearest days of our love's first bliss. 
hard for the heart, made vagrant are the memories of the ambrosia on your lips, but could I mix my breath with their perfume, I would have a way to kiss you always. <laughs> Wouldn't praise for their perfection, perfection in you is praised for being yours. The fields of love have many harvesters, and your harvest is bowed down to by their sheaves. God grant I may live to drain the leaves once more of your limbs, sweet elixir. Although I cannot hear your voice, I listen deep within me for your footsteps. Day you revive love's fallen legions slain by your sword. Think of their corpses abandoned by its spirit for your travels. If life, my love, will let you have your wishes, well, tell it to what to send a friend. Guards may bring you to your destination and God return you to your native ground. Thank you.